Hi everyone, so um, these are most of the recent finds and buys, um, not all of them, but I say about 90-95%. So this, these videos, might there might be more than one part to this video because um, there's not enough storage space on my phone, so it depends how long it takes me to review each wheel trim. I'll determine how many videos there are um, reviewing these ones. So I'm going to start off with the aftermarkets. Um, so I'm going to start off with this one. Which is just a um, Retro Universal. It's interesting though because it's got a um, Vauxhall badge, which is kind of off center, which is annoying. Um, on the back though, it's all complete. This is a pain to clean though. I've I've already used a bunch of stuff. I've I've, I've used it with um, washing up liquid. I've used it with brake cleaner. I've used it with soap. I've used it with everything. This will not come off. I don't know what else um, I can use, but that will not come off. Same with all this. All this stuff inside the crevices. I've, I removed the um, ring, and it cut, none of it comes off, so it was probably stained permanently. Anyway, there it is. Uh, then there's this one, which is a 12-inch Universal Retro. Um, funnily enough, there was one as a fresh fall off a couple of months ago. I tried to get it, and just down the bank, about 200 yards away from that one, that one was gone. But this was this one. Um, it's got a huge chunk out the side, which is annoying, but. Um, on the back it's got one clip left, which is really interesting because these ones, and I think it's quite solid as well. Yeah, these clips are less, that one's really solid. Um, this is a hidden find, so the, um, th these clips on these always rust. Same with on these ones, which I'll review in a minute. Um, then there is a camper van universal one. Uh, it looks much better on camera than in real life. In real life it's awful, but on camera it's actually really quite nice. Um, it's 16 inch on the back. It's obviously really badly stained, like always. The tops of two missing clips, which is annoying. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold at the moment. It might sound a bit rough. Um, I might be able to get some more of this um, like dullness off, but at the moment, this is how it's cleaned up. It was annoying to clean though, so I might not even bother. So there we are. Then there is um, there was actually six or seven of these. But I've only got four with me, and all of them are 16 inch. So, the most recent ones, um, and all of them I found in the past like three or four weeks as well, so all six or seven of them. Um, there's actually a set of four brand new ones of these. Uh, I found these these two here I found the other day, um, along with something else really, really rare. But um found these two about a mile from each other, and it was about the first one was about a mile from the house. So they're obviously from the same car. Um, I've actually got two other 16 inch ones which are in the exact same condition at my dad's which I can't review because they're at my dad's but I've got basically an entire set of 16 inch brand new ones which is nice. Um, then there's this one which, maybe, which is a um, bad condition one which is yeah it's got a crack in it because these clips when you when you slam them onto the wheel the clips always break through and you'll be able to see right here look another one these are all 16 inch by the way and i've got one 15 inch as well so i think i've got another 14 inch one somewhere but i'm not sure if that's a recent find um there's th these two have rings but i've taken them off because i'm gonna throw these two so i'm gonna put them to one side so yeah six or seven of those stool ones in the last few weeks um well what one will i review next uh these ones they um Volkswagen, um, oh, what's this one? Volkswagen Polo or Golf? I think it's a Polo. Um, I do need to clean it a little bit more, even though it's not really worth it. It's badly scratched up, corrosion. The badge itself isn't actually that bad, other than the outside ring. Um, on the back, though, this is really interesting. All of these things, these clips, like claw things, whatever you call them, they're actually in, um, they're very solid. All Every single one of them are really solid, which is, um, this one's a bit bent inwards, but it's outward, sorry, but it's still solid. This one's a bit loose, but it's still really solid, and they're not crumbling apart. So that's really interesting, and I don't know how it came off though, because these always come off when the um, the clips basically rot away, and they just come across. Basically the wind rips them off, I think, because the clips are just so rotten. I'm going to finish off with this pile if I can. The video might end abruptly though because I've got no memory and I have no idea how long I've got recording time left. So this uh, Vectra one, which I um, don't have the ring for, but it's interesting because the, um, the, uh, one of the spokes have been eaten by like mice or whatever. Um, 
on the back though this one clip is held on by literally one strand of clip look look at that and even that's broken i didn't really didn't realize that until just now so that one will probably come off at some point but at the moment it's all complete and on the front it's in worse condition than i thought but actually it's fine um there's a few scuff marks here and there a little bit of staining but for one of these it's actually really good i think it's the best example i've ever found then there's this one, Citroen, um, are these a Citroen Bilingo or something, or Citroen really? I can't actually remember. I think I found a Peugeot one recently as well, but I think it was scrapped. Actually, I found a few of these that have been scrapped recently, unless they're a similar design. Um, on the back, it's all complete. Um, it's got a tiny little crack that's kind of almost through the paint on the front. A um, bunch of scratches, but other than that, it's fine. Um, Foxhall one, um, from a Corsa. Videos starting to get a bit of um, hmm. Anyway, um, it's a, it's a bit run over because I found this at a scrapyard. Um, I did um end up probably stealing this one, being as it was just outside the scrapyard, and I didn't I didn't ask for it. I just basically took it. So here we are. It's a bit worthless anyway, so it's fine. Then there's this full transit one, um, sixteen inch. I don't think I found this one. I think this was my mum's partner one because I don't remember finding it. It was just kind of in my garden, in the, in the garden one day. So it must have been found by him. And here we are. It's minute condition like always. And there you go. I did actually see a car at a van the other day with one that was in really bad condition. The front left was awful. It was all scuffed up. It was all stained. Like it was really, really bad. But other than that, they're almost always in minute condition. Then there's these three. So there's two Renaults and one Vauxhall. Uh, this one was found by my dad. It's got a bunch of light scratches on the front. Um, loads of light scratches on the front. I didn't realise. Scuff mark there. Uh, all complete though, which is nice. I think one clip on this one's damaged. Yeah, it is there. Um, and actually, it's, not, it's got two. It's got two damaged clips. That one there, and another one somewhere else. Uh, right there. But other than that, it's fine. <laughs> then there's a the run traffic. Um, I'm still waiting to find a Nissan version though. Um, some damage on the front. Actually, other than that, it's fine. It looks like it's hit like a wall or something and it's scuffed up against the front. On the back door, it's all complete, which is nice. And then there's this one, which I found my granddad, I think. Um, this is actually one of the ones that I got in the back of my car. So when I collected my car, there was this one and a couple of others in the back. Um, this one's really in worse condition. And um, it's a London find, that's why. My dad lives. Uh, so my granddad lives in uh, London, outskirts of London. So, you know, high curbs everywhere. So they're probably always in this condition. But there we are. I'm gonna end the video now and upload this, and then I'll review these in part two, because there's still about 15 or so more wheel trims to review. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.